This is not a how-to video or a tutorial as such, but I'll try my best to explain what is going on. The gadget as a whole is a dyno on which I'm testing all the parameters of the motor. And the other thing I'd like to show you is the drivetrain that I'll be using. Now during this prototyping phase, it's nice to have some uh, flexibility. So I've gone and uh, made everything modular. All my shafts are some form of bolts or threaded rod of sorts with uh, a long nut. The nuts then get machined down to whatever radius and diameter I need for bearings and bushes to mount the gears on. And uh, this allows me to chop and change between different shaft lengths and uh, it just simplifies the whole process and makes it a lot easier to change configurations if I need to. These uh, spiral bevel gears were bought as a set. Uh, they supply them as replacement parts for small angle grinders and these were specifically for one of the Makita models. It's a 3.7 to 1 reduction ratio. So it uh, should give me a really nice slow RPM on the propeller shaft. The main purpose of the dyno is of course to measure the mechanical power output on the motor shaft. For that I need to know the torque on the shaft and the RPM at which it puts out that torque. So to measure the torque I've mounted the motor itself onto an arm that can swivel. The motor is on two bearings. So the rigid part of the motor is mounted onto the lever with which I measure torque. To measure RPM, I've got a photodiode, it's a LED, infrared LED and a phototransistor combination. It picks up the difference between light and dark and that circuit is powered by a little 18650 battery. This multimeter gets its reading from that circuit. If the diode is aligned with white it reads out 147 watt millivolt and then if I turn it all the way to the black it jumps up to about 3.1 volts. Now if I change the setting on the multimeter to frequency measurement and I'm powering up the ESC with the servo tester. Now I'm measuring frequency. Uh, it looks like about 10 Hz. So if you multiply that by 60, you get 600 RPM. Okay, now to demonstrate the dyno itself, I'm using an old uh, gas starter motor. It's a 12 volt motor used to start gas model aircraft engines. I'm using that as a generator. It's got a switch which once it's spinning up will put power onto its crocodile clips and I'll simply be powering up a uh, bulb, 55 watt bulb. So that will draw current, the generator will uh, generate some torque and I can then measure the motor response as a torque output and a change in RPM. Right, here are the results for two sets of tests, one at 13 volts, the other one at 26 volt. Torque on the x-axis, speed on the y-axis, and then on this y-axis, power, current, and efficiency. The current for both tests lie on the same curve, as you'd expect. Efficiency follows the 
typical curve expected of a constant voltage graph and then there you can see the speed that's 26 volt 13 volt curves and then power 13 volt and 26 volt to generate the different load points for each uh, voltage curve I simply varied the resistance on that little starter motor that I used as a generator so by adding more bulbs in parallel the resistance drops and that increases the load uh, increases the torque on the generator and obviously then loads the brushless motor itself the maximum efficiency peaked at around 90% uh, of the no load RPM so uh, slightly higher fraction compared to the lower efficiency brush motors and then if I plot efficiency directly against power I can see a very clear distinction between the peaks in efficiency at different power levels by using different input voltages. These tests were all done at constant voltage with uh, power to the ESC set at maximum power. The demo that I just uh, did, uh, I actually varied the power by playing around with the servo tester and uh, at any reduced power setting you actually have additional losses within the ESC itself. On this graph you can see that for 26 volts I've got maximum efficiency for input powers of around 300 watt and if the power is in the vicinity of 100 150 watt it's clearly more efficient to run the motor at 13 volt now these graphs like I said were performed at constant voltage uh, I used lithium iron phosphate batteries I'll do a separate video where I look at the response uh, when using solar panels and an MPPT uh, charge regulator or even a buck converter. Both of those uh, will automatically adjust voltage depending on how much current is being drawn.